Welcome to our flipped lesson on section 1.4, Rewriting Equations and Formulas. So just like our last flipped lesson, I'm going to ask you to pause along the way and solve a couple problems, and I'll look for those in your notes tomorrow. So, um, just a reminder of a couple formulas. I know we've already used this one this year, but we're going to talk about perimeter. So remember, perimeter is that you want to go all the way around. It's like you're walking around the outside of something. So you know you have lengths twice and widths twice. So perimeter is equal to two lengths plus two widths. So it's a distance all the way around your shape. We also have a formula to calculate the area of our shape. So sometimes we talk about the surface area of our shape. So the surface area is going to be multiplying that length times that width. So it's the area inside all of this all added up together. So that's why you have to multiply the length times the width. So that's for area. And then we have volume. So if I want to get the volume of something, like even my classroom, I would want to know the space inside of that. So if I make a three-dimensional one, I know I need to get length, width, and then I want the height of that so I can get everything inside of that box. So that's going to be length times width times height. So if I looked at units, so if I go back and I look at units for perimeter, let's say these are in centimeters, my final answer is still going to be just in centimeters because I'm just walking around the edge and I'm not multiplying anything. But if I want to look at area of, if I'm going to look at the area, it's centimeters times centimeters, so then my units are going to be centimeters squared. So if I had a number like 20, it would be 20 centimeters squared. For volume, because now I have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters three times, that would be centimeters cubed for volume. So if my volume is 20, it would be 20 centimeters cubed. Also in this, so we were some, using some equations, so we're going to define equation, just so when we're going over the homework, we see that. So equations are statements. Statements that two, sorry, that two mathematical expressions are equal. Okay, so for example, I know the temperature in degrees Celsius is equal to five ninths, sorry, this is hard to write, is five ninths times the temperature of degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. So if I know one, I can solve for the other. I also, so that is also a literal equation. So a literal equation is an equation that has, it has two or more variables. Okay, so we have two or more variables. So I can solve for one or the other. So I know that C equals 5 ninths F minus 32. I can actually rearrange this and solve for S. So I want to see if you can use your algebra to solve for F. So try to rearrange everything in this equation here 
so that F stands all by itself and C has all the other numbers by it. So pause the video and see if you can solve for F. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to give you some more problems to try to solve for, so maybe these might be a little bit easier. So here's example one. So you're going to try 5y minus x equals 10, and I want you to solve for y. Okay. Here's another example. Okay, so 12 equals 6x plus 3y. Again, I want you to solve 4y. Okay, when you're done, just unpause. Okay, here's a tricky one. Here's an extra. We're just going to call this extra. So we're going to see if you can do this one. Don't worry if you can't. We're going to go over them during class, but I want you to try. So I should see in your notebook that you've tried, and I want you to solve for y. Okay, here we have some more examples. So if we know, this is, we're going to call this example two. So we're given the perimeter of a rectangle. So we know that we already talked about that, 2L plus 2W. I want you to solve for, I asked you to solve for W. What could we do? So we know perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. So I somehow want to get W all by itself. So first I need to get rid of this 2L. So I'm going to subtract off 2Ls from both sides. So now I have 2W equals P minus 2L. So now I just want to get rid of this 2. So I'm going to divide both sides. Divide both sides by 2. Okay. Sorry, I need to go to the next page. So if I divide both of those by 2, now I have P minus 2L. And the whole thing has to be divided by 2 equals my W. Okay. So, I have one for you to try. So let's try. So you know the surface area of a square pyramid. So let's just say surface area equals x squared plus 2xl. I want you to solve for L. So I'm just going to rewrite this to make it easier. We're going to say S equals X squared plus 2XL. So you want to get L all by itself. So you're going to have to first do something with your X squared, then do something with your 2X. Again, we'll go over the answers tomorrow. Okay, we're going to go back to that temperature equation that I gave you. So Oh goodness, what happened? So, example four, I want to know which has the greatest temperature. Okay, so I need to guess first. Which has the greatest, greater temperature? The sun that's at 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit or lightning Okay, that's at 30,000 degrees Celsius. So first take a guess. What do you think? Okay, now you want to convert just one of these so that you have the same unit. So I think we all are more familiar with Fahrenheit. So I'm going to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay, so I need to go back to my old equation. I want to convert my Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I know I want to know what does Fahrenheit equal? And we're going to use the equation 9 fifths Celsius plus 32. Oops, sorry. I don't want a parenthesis there, do I? 9 fifths Celsius plus 
32. So my original equation said that Celsius was 30,000 degrees plus 32. And I like to simplify my math before I get too far. So I know 5, goodness gracious, why does it do that? I know 5 can go into 30,000 6,000 times. And I know 9 times 6 is 54,000 plus my 32. So Fahrenheit equals 54,000 and 32 degrees. Okay, so that was of lightning. So now let's look at our numbers again. We have the sun that has 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or we have lightning, which is 54,032 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we know lightning is a much greater temperature. Okay, so you're going to try one of these. So, which is warmer? Okay, which is warmer? So, 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 degrees Celsius. So go ahead, follow the same pattern that I just did, and I will see you all tomorrow.